Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, let us solve one more problem in which the we have to calculate the taxable value of earned leave and SSC has worked in two different organizations. Mr. X employed by PQR Limited up to 15th 3, 2023. So up to 15th March 2023, he was working in PQR Limited. At the time of leaving PQR Limited, he was paid 3,50,000 as leave salary. So he had got 3,50,000 as leave salary, out of which 57,000 was exempted. So already he has got an exemption of 57,000. Already on the exemption, he 57,000. He joined ABC Limited. PQR Limited bit mail, ABC Limited na join at Paidane and received 7,59,000 as leave salary. So he is getting 7,59,000 as leave salary at the time of retirement. Determine the amount of taxable leave salary from the following. So the taxable leave salary is determined. Salary at the time of retirement, it was 23,000 per month. So salary at the time of retirement was 23,000 per month. Average salary is received during 10 months. How the thing is average salary? From 1-3-2022 to 37, 31, 7, 2022. So from 1st of March to 31st of July, he has got 22,600 rupees per month as average salary. And from 1st August to 31st December, he has got 22,900 rupees as average salary. Duration of service is 24 years. Ex 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 ignore that month. 3 by 4 twins, I think it is, uh, it comes to... 9 months I think. Yes, 9 months. So ignore that. Leave entitled for the year of is one and a half years of service, one and a half months, 45 days. Leaves he will get for every year. So ignore that because according to income tax law, he will get only 30 days EL for every completed year. But here he is getting 45 days. So ignore that. Leave availed while, while in service is 3 months. So totally he has availed the leave for 3 months. With this information, we have to calculate the taxable earned leave. So now, PQR Limited, no need to calculate because they have only given directly what is the exemption. Now, calculate only ABC Limited. So, actual earned leave received in ABC Limited is 7,59,000. From that, least of the following will be exempted. Least amount will be exempted. Actual earned leave. What is the actual earned leave? Actual earned leave is 7,59,000. Maximum amount is not 3 lakh for it because already he has taken the exemption of 57,000. So we will minus that 57,000 from 3 lakh. Now maximum he can get 2,43,000. Next, the third one will be 10 months into average salary. 10 months into average salary. We need to calculate average salary. So as I told you that he has two different salaries. So from 1 3 2022, first March 2022 to 31st July, he is taking 22,600 rupees. So there are five months. So I am multiplying it into five. So it will be 1,13,000. Next, from 1st August to December 31st, he is taking 22,900 rupees per month salary. And that is again five months from August to December. So it will be 1,14,500. Both, if you add, it will be 2,27,500. This is a total salary. In order to get the average salary, you have to divide the 2,27,500 by 10 months. You will get 22,750. So, this 22,750 is the average salary. So, 22,750 in 10 months, you have to do. So, you will get 2,27,500. That is the third exemption. So, fourth one is approved period into average salary. So, we need to find out the approved period. So, he has worked for 24 years. So, for each year, he will get one month as earned leave. So, 24 years into one month will be 24 months. In that, they have told in the question that leave availed while in service is three months. So, he has taken three months of leaves. So, from total 24 months leave, if you less the three months, if you reduce, the remaining 21 months is the approved period. So that approved period into average salary I have to do. 
So approved period 21 months into 22,750 will be 477,750. So out of these four, whichever is lesser will be given as exemption. So the exemption earned leave will be 227,500. Total he has received 759,000. In that if 227,500 is exempted, then the taxable earned leave will be 531,500 rupees. So by this, I have completed the earned leave concept also. If you have any doubt in the earned leave concept, please put all your doubts and queries in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts and queries as soon as possible. From my next video, I'll start with the full-fledged problems from income from salary chapter. Let us meet in the next video.